Philip, you delivered here last time. I did. Yeah. Well, welcome mm -hmm. back. It's Thank been you. about a year. <laughs> and he saved, I think he, so. He saved the fun part for me. It's clipping the opening of the sea crate. So it's like a make a birthday wish type thing. So uh, make a good wish. Here we go. We got new equipment from Panada. Oh yeah, let me see that bad boy. Oh yeah. This is round two. I've done this before. Do it again. All right, we went to Italy in January, Panada headquarters, and I got to do a little try before you buy shopping. Pullover machine. Super fridge press machine. Part of the reason I got the equipment is because, well, I like equipment. <laughs> but also we're, we're, we're accumulating equipment when we plan to transition to opening a public gym. So a lot of the challenge now is finding space for equipment that doesn't have space. I'm currently prepping for a bodybuilding competition. And last time I did this, I was just able to eat and drink everything I wanted. Now my meals are restricted. So I don't know how we're gonna do manual labor with a low calorie diet. Well, you're gonna make it happen. Does Gym Store guys help us out again? If you guys are shopping for equipment yourself or want to get into buying equipment, shop there. Or if you need to move a gym. Or if you need to move a gym. They have amazing pieces for amazing prices. And amazing people. We are using the plow floor, and I'm not giving that up. Plow floor is not going anywhere. But it's a really great place to catch all to get shit away before we start moving things around. Let's go up here real quick. Yeah. So this used to be the cardio mezzanine, and in the gym tour video, I think we covered this in about 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a quick tour, it was really funny. But now we're going to, I've got rid of a couple pieces of cardio equipment. I just, I don't, I just don't like the recumbent bike that much, and I don't like the stationary bike. I think they just burn up my quads. I like the air bike, I like these pieces, but now it gives us more room to use the upstairs for something else. So we're gonna put the calf machines up here. So this is a cardio calf dungeon. Yeah, so we're, we're still gonna be putting some more stuff up here. As well as a place for you to sleep. <laughs> yeah, uh, I do sleep there. And so does. So does that, that guy. But uh, we do have a time-lapse going over here. Let's see how long we've been working this morning. Two and a half hours so far moving things. You, you do love you a time lapse. I love time lapses. The original layout of the room was to have most of the equipment here, upper body over there, so over here, and more like functional power area over here, and then the plow floor is there. After having used the gym for about a year, I figured out like some of the areas that can be kind of repurposed a little bit. So we do have some more stretching equipment coming over here because I have some flexibility goals for the end of the year. And there's just some pieces after you use them for a while, you just find out you don't use them very much. So we already have put a lot of this equipment in our Grip Genie warehouse and our jujimufu.com warehouse. Well, it's um, our, other, our other folks can enjoy it. And then we also use the barn still. So it's good to have a nice variety of equipment up there. Yeah, so I have a lot of locations, but you know, yes. part of this whole equipment acquisition process is just finding space for it and just securing the uh, securing the equipment and having it before we move it around some more, I guess, is what we do. So This feels little. like a, a, a every six to 12 month type thing. Like, let's move all the gym equipment around. See that? Look at that. That's a Smith machine. Blasphemy. Blasphemy, Juji. You're a fan of Smith machines? Get the stretching machines, the small dudes. We got David help us out. David is part of our team now. If you guys have been joining the live streams, join the flock, check them out. This dude has been helping a ton and getting all that going. So thank you, yeah. David. Yeah, appreciate you guys coming out every Saturday. Yeah, we it means do. a lot, it means a lot. Yeah, and uh, we're grateful to have you on the team, David. Absolutely. You're amazing dude. We Glad got lucky that, that, uh, that we met up, but we're gonna open a couple, you know? We're gonna go ahead and open a couple. Well, it has to happen at some point. Ooh! I mean, I'm Mr. Flexibility, right? Well, 
I want some stretching machines because I didn't have any. And I like these when I tried them out in uh, Panada headquarters. This is amazing. I'm going to try it out. I need a good back stretch after. Oh, my God. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, it's even better than it was when we visited, dude. You see a smile on my face? Yeah. I I'm do. happy. It's my heart rate. Is this even accurate? 95. That's like low grade cardio. Okay. Don't tell my coach I uh, I skipped cardio this morning because this counts as cardio, right, Sam? Sure. But we should probably move some of the stuff from the side of the door so the other things can get through. You guys listen to Sam over there. She's the one that's actually getting shit done. So this is a uh, a stretching flexor bench. This is gonna I'm gonna use this to strengthen my hip flexors with added load weight on this, and it's gonna a tracking surface. This looks like. Circular lap pull down, maybe. John. What? Uh, are you the Viking press calf machine? It's gonna go where the, uh... oh, hi, are you filming? I've been filming, yes. Oh, okay, it's gonna go next to the boot machine for now. Okay. Yeah, and we are unwrapping a flat bridge. So we have a decline, an upright incline, another incline, and now a flat. Okay. Well, let me go take care of the, um... Got all the infinity stones for chest. <laughs> Good. All right, let's see what it is. Let's see where it goes. Alternate leg extension. So I got leg extension with independent. Yep. Plate loaded instead of cable double. Uh, this one's gonna go next to the other leg extension we got. Hey, Smiley. Yeah. Stay hydrated. Always. How many videos you been in with us? Five, six, seven. Right up there. Been around a while. Yeah. He's a fighter, guys. He's three and zero. Oh. Got a title shot in November. Sure. I wouldn't fuck <laughs> him. He's the best mover I've ever seen in my life. Daniel Smiley Wilkins. How come I'm not following you? I don't know. I feel the love though. <laughs> Sam, I think the first video that uh, you filmed for us back last year was unloading gym equipment, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But there was no gimbal. You guys actually need a. Get going. Trying to post Instagram stories over here. What do you have going on here? I'm taking an intro workout while we're doing work. It's a little secret if you guys don't know. Most people think these supplements are just for working out. That's not the case. HD muscle, code at the bottom of the screen. It's good beauty. They're my friends. So it's carb HD. Yep, we got. Fast digesting carb. EAAs. They're EAAs. You get your intra. Uh huh. And then we get your electrolytes. So you get everything you need to preserve muscle mass, fuel things, and not pass out. Pass out from not having. Just look how much Southern heat. Yeah. Southern heat. That's just like you just have to hammer this in. Pace yourself. You got fuel. You, know, you got to take care of your body. Otherwise, it won't take care of you. Last one. That's the last machine. Ta -da! Ta -da! So what's uh what's next? Hydrate? Yeah. Eat well, yes, eat again, I suppose. So if you're working a manual work like that dude, and he's a successful athlete as a fighter, or that if you're dude. like prepping for a bodybuilding competition like me and you got all this stuff to do, most important things you can do is continue to get your meals in, stay hydrated. You know, take regular rest breaks, intervals. You may feel like a wuss by sitting there and not helping all the time, but if you put that stuff in there, you can recover, and then you'll be all right. You guys want to eat chicken and rice? Always. Sounds good to me. Chicken and rice? Yeah, good. <laughs> We're moving existing equipment in new spots to, to put new equipment in new spots, in old spots that are new, but not old. We now have a circular chest press because when I tried it, me and Dorian were both convinced it's one of the best chest machines we ever had. Who set this down? Well, this is the first machine I've officially tried, I think, other than the stretching machines. Do they count? It feels like a hex press on steroids. And you can read the instructions while you do it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> They're all in Italian. <laughs> Feel it? Yeah, it's pretty quick. It's, it's like... Oh, yeah. It's like immediately, you know, like succulent. That's hitting the chest. Yeah, I'm gonna have a chest bigger than Eric Boogs. Ah! 
I don't know if that's Ooh, possible. It's gonna be bigger than his. It's gonna be, it's gonna be juicier than a succulent, succulent no, cactus I farm. Mean, feet, 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 John. Yeah. I'll hold his foot back there. We're gonna be looking at how we rearrange the hack squat and power squats, but I think everybody is a little mesmerized. By the arm machine. By the alternate arm machine. Yet another arm machine. Ooh, you were doing that weight? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> he just got on here just to try it out. He's doing this weight. What the hell? Ugh. The thing I like about this one is you see this reticulation here? Yes. And this length? Finally, a bicep machine that doesn't discriminate against guys with long arms. From more Europe. plates, more days, right? So like, notably, you can see the outline of his pecs. This, this guy is fitness model territory. <laughs> Who are you dating? Derek. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck, before you start, oh, holy cow. Oh, wait, yeah. It's a trophy. It's made out of pure gold. <sighs> yeah, Black's the back of the truck, right? <laughs> nice. Yeah, all I have to do is turn around and see if we rearranged everything. We got a, a circular left pull down. Wait, let me add this. This, see this? It's a big towel machine. Circular left pull down. Okay, great. Next. Tricep. Yep. Push down. Chest press. Combination Viking press. Half machine. Yes, the platform is right here. Yeah, we'll get them to that. We moved a lot of crap over here. Got a little yes. alleyway, it's a little congested. We'll work on it. But Sam has her new butt machine right here. Uh, your. Yep. A special multi hit machine they built for me. So I wanted to build up my hips even more. So this is your flexibility training, right? This is for flexibility training, the adductor machine. Yes, he did buy an adductor I machine. He did buy the uh, good girl machine. Good girl. Good girl machine does this. You, wait, wait, show what it came with. Right there. It's a crotch screen. It's to block off so people can't stare at your crotch while you do it. We're gonna take care of all this stuff. You guys have helped enough. Yes, and we will... You like to take care of the light stuff, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right, so we're gonna do that. Things that were not filmed were moving the leg press and the GHD and the 45 degree hyper up to the barn as well as yeah we moved the, the barn snow. in the rain we'll show you that later but for now not in the rain it'll just be after go into the next day here okay we got most of the stuff situated in place about 15 new pieces of equipment really excited to show you guys some of the choices we made and why we chose them i'm gonna start with a weird one this is a multi-hit so i got that because my hips are very very strong and they protected me against injury and a lot of movements and now I want to take them to the next level. I want to make them even stronger. So we got the multi hip. They even made it special. They added extra weight in the weight stack because I'm so strong on it. But I'm going to start doing that every morning after cardio, just a little volume and work my way up because I'm going to transition to a more athletic phase. And that includes the stretching machines as well. Yes. I have some new flexibility goals and I've got some new tools to work with here. So I'm going to do some uh, resistance based, weight based uh, flexibility training so I can take my. Splitman has flexibility. Splitman's coming back. Splitman's coming back, and that includes the. Speaking of which, the the uh, good girl machine, the adductor machine, is going to make my groin even stronger because if you guys don't know, side split training, a large part of it is strengthening the groin, and I need something with a little bit more movement and volume work. Also, talk to James Hollingshed, the shed, and he's a big fan of this movement. He says a lot of bodybuilders in his area have been training this movement for a couple of years now, and it's showing on stage. John, they definitely make your thighs a lot bigger. Front on, when you're doing like a most muscular and you have your knees pointing out, your inner thigh will pop like crazy. Like it's, it's so underrated. Definitely worth getting. Uh, I like this, this is an echo runner. Um, it has different resistance levels and I really like being able to run again without pain. So I've been doing that for morning cardio. It's a wonderful piece of equipment. And this? That's the Smith machine. I don't even show you what it does. Okay. It does what it does. We got the uh, world's most expensive sissy squat. <laughs> uh, I like sissy squats. Good to do after leg extensions, which we got another leg extension machine. But wait, are you you're passing oh. the butt machine? Oh, this is the Sam's ass machine. It's yeah. uh, it's like a kickback thing. It's right next to the hip thrust machine. Yeah. You guys. Sam does some of the nastiest drop sets on hip thrust. I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy. Oh my god, I don't even know how you do it. It's just ugh. I can still walk through doors. <laughs> <laughs> this is a unilateral, plate-loaded, 
quad extension. Now you might be wondering, why do you have two quad extensions? Well, if you've ever done bicep curls with uh, free weights, it feels different than doing bicep curls on a machine or with a cable. There's constant tension with the cable. Free weights have a different strength curve. They just feel different. It's the same thing for the legs. They just have a different feel and they can develop the legs differently, which we also got another bicep machine, by the way, to complement my favorite piece of bicep equipment, which is actually the preacher bench that I use all the time. A lot of you guys think the machine is cursed because it is. We've already had some injuries on it and I've, uh, I've done naked preacher curls on it before. So I guess it's marked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three. Look at these three pieces. It's got a circular lat pull down, which has got a phenomenal feel. It feels That's different. really nice. It, yeah, Sam really likes it. I do too. This is why we got it. This is an awesome tricep and chest push down machine with a lot of different adjustments. What's interesting is, can you show the handles? Yeah, you can adjust the handles. One, two, three. You can adjust the seat. Oh, wow. And you can also do unilateral. There's a lot of different grips. So there's like nine variations of tricep and chest push down that you can do on this machine. I love it. And then the Viking Press calf raise dual combo. The Viking Press feels amazing. And we actually did calves on a live stream the other day. Me and David did calves. The calf machines are moved upstairs right now because out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. You do what I'm on. Pretty cool. Also, check out the slant board we got right there. I did some uh, decline dumbbell skull crusher push down things, whatever the hell you want to call them, extensions. Always one of my favorite exercises was to be able to do that decline. I've been, ever since I read a, a blog article from Eric Cressy, that's a throwback if you guys know who he is. Amazing intellectual guy. But uh, also, you can do athletic stuff like dragon flags and sit ups, and also it's an inversion table. So, pretty neat, pretty versatile. Go to find a lot of uses for it. And I've got a few more pieces over here. We've got the uh, uh, the flat plate loaded bench, which is now got some, oh, no. some laundry on it. It's already collecting laundry. Oh, I, I used it the other day, don't worry. But Wait, this, do you have B-roll of that? Also, the circular chest press was doing the other day as well. And my favorite chest machine. It's, it's the best feeling chest machine ever. I'm pretty oh, strong yeah. on it though. I had to use a gem pen to add some weight to it. So I, I feel really lucky. I'm really excited. I feel really good about this purchase. You know, a lot of times you have buyer's remorse when you spend money on things like this, but ever since I got these pieces of equipment, I like every one of them that we got. Well, you got to try them all at Panada when we went there mm -hmm. in January. I mean, it just shows, the quality shows. We are friends with the Panada family. We really enjoyed that trip. Um, got to meet Eduardo and Rudy and the whole <laughs> Panada team. They, they're amazing people. I want to continue working with them and and doing things with them in the future and seeing what they come up with because uh, three of the pieces that we bought came out this year. They're still making new stuff every year. They, they got, we They're really passionate about what they do and they just, this is what they do, they just invent. Yeah, I mean, they got a hashtag on Instagram called Panada Passion they, they use all the time. Because <laughs> they are, they're very passionate about gym equipment. And I, I guess so am I. I really like this stuff. Are you passionate or are you an addict? Uh, both. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys and I'm, I'm really happy. I mean, I'm getting to live a really cool life. And this is an amazing experience being able to work out in here every day and, and just kind of build a, the environment that makes me feel best on the train. And I feel like everyone should try to do that or at least find a gym that they feel at home with. Okay. Okay. Are we done? Well, Sam's got to finish her workout. I interrupted her to help film this last segment so I can start editing the video. The end of the video, Brian edited the beginning of the video. Okay, this is cool. Are we keeping that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>